Yeah. The 17 inch one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what do you, the backpack's not small. Wait, you then about? you bought this for like $60 then. No, it was, it was more. No, the, if, I, if you click on the gray one, it's $41. Oh, okay. Plus, I was able to get like a discount or some shit. Nice. Yeah, but I don't know. I have weird levels of anxiety and obsession. <laughs> so I ended up just returning it and buying a North Face. Because I was like, no, I, I was looking for backpacks and then I got overwhelmed by all of the same like Chinese yeah. manufacturers. I'm like, I can't, I don't want another nameless Chinese manufactured backpack. I just want something like, fucking reliable. So I was like, I'm just going to like North Face. It was hey, just what's the... of, of like shell companies of the same Chinese manufacturer selling the same backpack over and over again. I was like, like, no. I, I know, I know. Same back. It's like same product with different like company labels slapped yeah. on them. Well, and then I was like, no. What if this company's now roped in all that other shit? They're all the same. Awesome. <laughs> like fucking doing like an in-depth two-hour background search of the co like any company before you like even <laughs> attempt to think about the backpack. Oh, like, yeah, dude. He's like, oh wait, I haven't seen this company before. What is it? Oh, so you use these. Here you are. Well, that looks like companies like Outdoor Friend. Oh my god. Travel Mate. They've turned Amazon into like a Chinese flea market. It's fucking awful. You don't know if what you're getting is real like most of the time anymore. Well, it's, 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 it's not even their fault, it's the fact, so if you look at, so like, we kind of have people that do stuff God like that, like drop shipping and like, yep. you know, reselling products from like, uh, one website to another, Big. but in, in Get it. China, Better hurry they up. have like, you know, they have like Alibaba, DHK, stuff like that, that's actually a really big thing there, and it's really cutthroat. Like insanely cut for like you see MMOs where people will, like list an item one cent under somebody else they'll do that there where they'll like they'll okay. literally list something one cent under somebody else but it's like insanely <laughs> cutthroat so part of it is because you know if this market is very competitive but all your competitors are using that market and not you know a different market AKA like the North American market. Well, you can kind of just move over to that, and you have a better chance at being the one that they click on. That's why it happens a lot. It's because it's just it's just they Bye, do Mom. that over there, and it's very competitive, very very competitive. Where is that? If you ever go to the um, street yeah. vendors, street vendor areas? If you find two different street vendors, like that are selling watches, for example, you can get the owners to basically compete on who will sell you the cheapest watch. True. Like, so. But this is the problem I'm having with that kind of marketplace now instead of something more regulated is that if you're buying stuff that's faked like all the time and faked like you know and much lower quality but same tags and same logo yeah. like Amazon makes it really hard to tell what's authentic and what isn't you know yeah, they, because they the can't markets you're not going to get authentic well. products a lot of time is he here? like I was scared buying headphones on Amazon because I know how bad the headphone faking is. Yeah, I, I, anytime I buy hyper, like buy a new set of HyperXs, I literally go to either uh, Best Buy and buy them from the like from the hype like because they have literally boxed the headset, or I'll get them from their website. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, no, the video I watched, I don't, I, you showed me one video and I watched another video separately showing how easy and how prevalent no, no. review farming is. Like, it, it's like, you can't trust Amazon reviews now for literally anything. You can't really trust any reviews unless you see a really good review spread. Yeah. 
Like, there's gonna be a decent, like... Well, you, something you can trust cool, reputation. Like, a reputable something... company that you know they make good products. It, yeah, well, something's, like, only, like, big red flag. Only five stars and a couple one stars. Huge red flag. Let's check out like, why are there only five stars and then a couple one stars, you know? Something that's not a red flag is, like, an okay, not a, not a ton, but you would think three is the average, but four is actually the average. So, like, a good amount of four stars, some threes, and then not a lot of twos but like some ones because people don't really rate it like an oh two stars because yeah. they give it something it's just oh one star um and then a, a, a good amount of fives like a substantial amount of five that's a pretty legit product but it's pretty hard to find like you know it, it's the spread well, just as you go spread. and you look through the reviews and you start finding reviews for products that are like this is a great blender you're mm -hmm. like god damn it <laughs> this asshole is literally doing like review purging uh oh There's got to be a way for Amazon to enforce item listings and make it so you can't relist an item with good reviews as something else. spending more than I like wanted to on a backpack that was like a hundred bucks. It's dawn. pick a Pokemon right now you can choose first here we go <coughs> so we get to click enter I'm not sure what to do here Open the brief for us to pick a poem. How do you open? O P A Z. What is it? Hmm. What? Let's see. Q. I'm looking for settings. How do you open? Let's see. Controls. Do you open? Hmm. Hmm. Can I answer your question if you respond? Yeah, what was it? Yeah, I'm trying to clarify. What are you asking? No, I was just talking out loud how to open a bag. They put a box, uh, 
suitcase on the floor and they say to open the thing. So to... Z is your Z is like A and X is B. Z Z and X. Z basically. is your A button and then X is your B button, like on Game Boy. Okay, let's see here. So I'm gonna do. Pokedex. Is it L? Is it M? J? Nope. Uh, Z, as in zebra, is your A button. I know. I've clicked it before. It didn't work. To open the bag? Mm-hmm. Are you, are you, like, standing and looking at the bag? I oh, tried to the bag is in, you got a backpack. That's B. Is that... There you go. Opening. Uh. Is that? Yes, this is exactly what I want. Got me a chimchar. Bye bye, Don. This guy came out of nowhere talking about some. If you're late, I'm gonna charge you ten million dollars. It's crazy. Ah, oh, his people counters me though. That's what sucks about it. Hmm.
this guy again. Bad you. This guy is What is this? Should I be going here? That's the lake? This guy. It looks like Who the hell is that? Oh, we have to go through this. Well, well, look who's here. Eat stroke. Eat stroke? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna call my chip char. <laughs> Eat stroke. <laughs> Actually, that's what I'm gonna do for every single one of my Pokemons. Give them ridiculous ass names. That's a fun thing to do. I mean, yeah, in my party right now, I got Scrappy, Sleepster, Tweedledee, and Tweedledum. <laughs> and hopefully, soon, I'll have Lil Boo. Hopefully, soon.
Nice, we got a Pokedex. Get out of here. Don is my assistant. Mm -hmm. Where are the human hospitals in this place? Everybody walks everywhere. <laughs> Nobody uses a car. You know, people bike around and fly around.
All right, we're going to stop here for today. That was a lot. Interesting. It's definitely moving a lot slower than I anticipated, but uh, it looks fun. This definitely looks like something I'd be able to spend hours on. Anyways, that was it for the first episode of Pokemon MMO. If you guys enjoyed that, drop a like. See you in another one. Peace.